Uh, the diagnosis of hip dysplasia, first pain is the most uh, is the earliest uh, symptom. Um, pain is usually with weight bearing, uh, walking, standing, uh, more aggressive activities. It can be located over the front uh, side or even back of the hip and reading it down the thigh. Uh, usually it starts as a, as a dull ache but can become quite sharp stabbing and uh, um, more intense with certain activities. Um, uh, as things progress then uh, mechanical symptoms giving way, uh, locking can also be an issue as, as cartilage or as, as tissues become more damaged, um, uh, progressively more damaged. Um, examination for dysplasia, first we look at people walking, see how you walk and support your weight, see how your gait, uh, um, see how symmetric your gait is, how much motion you are lacking uh, on, on watching you walk. Um, we then look at your range of motion, see if you have a lack of motion, if you're missing a full flexion, particularly in the rotation of the hip. Um, we look at the, the alignment of your low back and the length of uh, your legs um, and the contour as well of your body uh, and, and the symmetry of your, of your hips and pelvic area. Um, we then palpate for any areas of tenderness and look for muscle strength or weakness um, and uh, compare that side to side. X-rays are very helpful with dysplasia. They first tell us uh, if indeed there is under coverage of the femoral head. We then look at the joint space and uh, see if there is significant cartilage damage. Um, and then look at the associated abnormalities, the top of the femur and the rotation and so on, to see if they are a component as well. Um, MRI is very helpful in telling us the shape of the articular cartilage as well as the labrum, the bumper cartilage around the uh, rim of the hip socket. MRI arthrogram is much more sensitive and higher resolution and is much better at telling us uh, what cartilage damage has occurred as a result of this mechanical problem.